In this episode of The Swing Report, we are looking at 2022 golf balls from Titleist, the AVX, the Velocity, and the True Feel. We've got Thomas here to do some testing. We'll tell you everything you need to know. And golfers, make sure you skip to the last chapter of the video for our final thoughts. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf, and today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. New golf balls for 2022 from Titleist. They know a little bit about golf balls. Um, we got three models today. Uh, no Pro V1s though, because this is the year, the, the even year, right, where they released the AVX, the Velocity, and now True Feel. Three models that, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more budget friendly, depending on which one you choose, but they all play and perform very differently, Thomas. So uh, excited to get some testing done. And we haven't done a golf ball swing report, really. So uh, this is new for us, and uh, I'm excited to see what happens. This, this will be a great comparison. As you mentioned, this is, this is the cycle for these three golf balls. Type this probably one, probably one X. You know, mm -hmm. they perform extremely well when we test them. Use them a lot in our testing there too. But no doubt, Titleist AVX, mm -hmm. the, the new version, is still going to have probably the same principles. It's going to feel very, very soft, mm -hmm. and it's going to probably have a very low spin on it. So yeah, let's start with that AVX. Um, it's got, uh, it's basically designed for that low spin, like I mentioned, um, and that's because of that high flex casing layer, and then that uh, kind of a new soft thin urethane cover as well. So it almost feels it's got that kind of a similar material on the on the cover, like a Pro V1 or a Pro V1X. Uh, but then that lower launch and spin, uh, especially in that those full swings. So um, I think initially that's going to benefit faster swing players, uh, and then the velocity and true feel maybe will benefit uh, slower swing players. But I guess we'll validate that in testing. Yeah, AVX. If you hit the ball very high and you need to bring that height down a little mm -hmm. bit, it's going to be a great option. It has 348 dimples on it. So of the three we're going to test, it's going to have the lowest amount of dimples, which is also going to bring that spin rate down. Yeah, now let's get into that, then I guess in order by dimples, right? The next one would be velocity. So that's got 350 dimples, and the Titleist Velocity over the years has been basically designed for distance and launch as well. So yes. this ball I'm imagining um, in our testing today, we will see that ball jump the highest off the club face, whether it's wedge, seven iron, or driver. I would imagine launch angle will be the highest out of the velocity. Yeah, I've, I've found with it, it's a little firmer than the other two. Yep. Uh, I think the other two are going to feel a lot softer. But it's pretty explosive mm -hmm. ball for a little bit maybe more budget friendly for mm -hmm. golfers that are looking for a lot of distance but want a little firmer feel. Uh, I've, I have noticed one thing with the ball in the past is with the wedge, it's spun pretty low. But everything else has gone really, really far. Okay, interesting. Yeah, because they got the high speed LSX core in there that generates a lot of that energy transfer at impact. And so you'll see that out of the velocity with really all three clubs that we'll hit today with wedge, seven iron, and driver. And lastly, the true feel. So uh, the most dimples uh, out of all three. And that's going to be kind of that almost budget friendly uh, golf ball for those that like that softer feel, I think, is kind of what you know we've taken away from the true feel models in the past. And I imagine it'll be the same in this one. Yeah, it's, it's a sneaky good golf ball, as you mentioned, but budget friendly is mm -hmm. going to be the, uh, the lowest entry point in Titleist golf balls. But boy, does it feel really good off the club face. It, it's got almost that premium feel off the face yeah, it does. in a more budget golf ball. Yeah, it's interesting because it doesn't have that urethane material on the cover, but it still feels like that. Um, it's got that the True Touch core and then the True Flex cover, um, and that gives you that feel like almost simulates like kind of a premium ball. Uh, but it's a little bit lower compression number where, you know, maybe the more kind of not faster swing speeds, or rather something maybe more moderate or average, uh, is going to see the benefits out of that golf ball. So Yeah, uh, and it has a significant more amount of dimples as well, 376. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, quite going to change the, the way that golf ball behaves on the golf course. Yeah, and, it's, and the way it flies as well. So there's, again, three a lot of, uh, you know, unique aspects of these golf balls that they're very different from each other. And then I, I'm getting excited too to watch you, you know, hit the shots and get your feedback because the feel aspect is so important with golf balls. And I think, you know, that plus sound, we're gonna see a lot of differences, I bet. Yeah, for, so for the testing piece, for feel, I'll hit a 56 degree wedge. Yes, we'll take a look at the numbers as well, but I'm more focused on the feel with the wedge. See how it feels off the club face. Then we'll dive into the seven iron. Seven iron and driver, that's when we'll start noticing, we'll notice if there's any differences in ball speed or mm -hmm. spin and height between them. Yeah, for sure. Well, uh, I'm ready to see the testing, Thomas. You ready to get after it here? Let's do it. Okay, so Thomas, I know one of the things you like to do in te testing golf balls and you know seeing that difference is just kind of doing that 
bounce test on the wedge. Um, and so, okay, first of all, explain to me and the viewers, you know, what you're looking for when you do that, and then let's maybe see if we can find those differences with these three balls. I mean, I'm listening for the sound. So sound is definitely feel. And also, I can, you can see if it feels really soft off the face there, too, just by juggling different golf balls, sure. comparing the differences. And so we've got three here. I'll start with the true feel. And one thing I'm noticing is very, very soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can, I mean, there's barely a, a noise even, you know, that, that registers in my brain right now from that. So, so you can we'll tell go it's to, a softball. We'll go to the other end of the spectrum here. So go velocity, just do that same thing. Yeah. It's quite the different sound. So and it definitely feel -wise, feels firmer. You, you, you feel that too, yeah? Yep. Yep. And then we'll go back down to the AVX. AVX, we know, is a softer bowl. I don't think it's as soft yeah. as the true feel. I feel like that's probably in the middle in terms of uh, sound anyway. It's kind of in the middle of the two of yep. true feel and velocity, it seems like. Yeah, and I think velocity is a higher pitch by, by far, and the other two a little bit closer together. Yeah, yep. yeah, I thought that too. Yep. But and again, that's interesting. I mean, that's, it's funny that you can you know, get that much information on a golf ball or golf balls already just by kind of doing this test. And you can kind of, now we have a good idea of what we might see in testing at least. Yeah, so we'll continue that, that portion there on feel as we hit some pitch shots and, mm -hmm. and wedge shots here. All right, what ball are we starting with here? All right, let's go uh, true feel. Okay. So uh, what kind of shot is this here in terms of the clock system? What are you working on here? Yeah, so this is pretty close to my 9 o'clock swing. Okay. I'm trying to get my club speed as we're testing all the balls around about 70 miles an hour. Yeah. Uh, just to kind of keep it consistent and see if we notice any, any differences okay. there. But yeah, it's like a, a 9 o'clock pitch shot that yeah. goes probably about, about 90 yards. Okay. Yeah, feels very, very soft off the face, that's for sure. So you're getting the softer feel on that. And um, I know if you can think back, you know, you're, I know you play like a more premium golf ball. Um, in the Chrome Soft or Chrome Soft X, Chrome Soft what X, you're playing. Yep. So, you know, it, can, do you have a comparison between those two right now? I it's mean, for sure softer than that. Softer than that? Yep, definitely okay. softer than that. Interesting. Yep. It's, it's a very soft golf ball. Yeah? Yeah. Not many golf balls that I can think of that are going to soft, feel softer than the True Feel. Mm. Yep. I miss it a little bit. All right, seventy point two. All right. So, just to bring up the numbers, just so we know what they are, um, average spin nine thousand with that shot. Yep. And uh, you know you're hitting around sixty feet in the air with that shot, and I think we can just use that same swing for the next two and just see what happens. But I would imagine velocity. My guess, and I, I think you mentioned it too uh, at the beginning, was that low spin with a wedge. I think we'll, we'll see that here. Yeah, let's see how different it is. We've got the velocity next. Huh. A lot more sound on that one. Yeah, it's a, it's a different sound. Looks like that one launched just a little bit higher as well. Yeah, it is launching a little bit higher, it seems like. Yeah. Even though it's a slight pull on that one. Slight little pull, yeah, but... Ever so slight, of course. All right. Wow. So here's our numbers with true feel and velocity. This is the nine o'clock kind of pitch shot here. We lost about four to 500 RPM of spin and launch angle was actually very similar between the, between the two there. Yeah, it was pretty close overall. Same kind of attack angle, minus five mm -hmm. for both of them. Height pretty similar as well. Yep. So really the big difference is the spin, and you can see how there's a little bit of a difference there in terms of the rollout, right? So you get, you know, over three yards of it here, you get, you know, what, two and a half uh, here, so. Yeah, it's noticeable in looking at the attack angle. My attack angle actually was slightly more down with the true feel, but the spin rate was still less. So yeah. that's definitely 
you would expect if you hit down a bit more, you're gonna spin the ball a little bit. Yeah, so yeah, so, your, your velocity, you're hitting it down a little bit more, and in theory, that should generate more spin. So I think we can comfortably say that you probably about a 500 RPM difference uh, with that nine o'clock pitch swing of yours. Yep. Um, and then, of course, you can talk to me about some of the, the feel and sound difference. I know I noticed the difference in mm -hmm. sound right away. There was a little bit more of a thud from the velocity than the true feel. Yeah, a lot louder than, than what I play, a lot louder than these other two little mm -hmm. balls. It's a, it's a firmer, firmer feeling off the face. Yeah. So now the AVX, again, is a little bit more players oriented. Um, and I would imagine it, like we talked about in that when you were doing your test, uh, should fall in the middle maybe, but, uh, at least in terms of feel and sound. Uh, curious on the wedge spin though, for sure. Yeah, let's take a look. That was a low launch. Although I think, you know, the, the AVX is designed more for long game kind of low spin and launch. Uh, I don't want, I'm just, I'm, with the wedge, that initial one, it went lower than, than the other two golf balls. I, I know they cater more for the long game uh, differences, but I'm curious with the wedges that continues. Yeah, and I'm, I'm still thinking about feel as I'm, as I'm yeah. doing these pitch shots. I'm really trying to hone in on how, how they feel off the face and for sure, Felt, felt more mushy than the previous golf ball. More mushy. More yeah. mushy, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a word? <laughs> yeah, that plays. That one got up there and launched, but it's still a little bit lower. Still a lower spin, even though I swung a little faster yep. on that one. Trying to get my averages back to close to 70 with the club speed. Seventy. Seventy. Look at that. All right. True feel, velocity, AVX. A total of fifteen shots, five with each. We did notice that launch dip a little bit with the AVX on average. Um, spin right in the middle of the two, and then uh, I mean, we see yeah. So you see that um, rollout difference, you know, three yards. So, what do you think about that ball? I mean, I, I think it's, I think. In terms of the short game stuff, kind of just in the middle of the, of the velocity and true feel? Yeah, I mean, it still very, feels very soft off the mm -hmm. face. Um, it's a premium ball, but it's going to feel softer than, say, a Pro V1 or Pro V1X, okay. if, you're, if you're in that category. Sure, sure, yeah. okay. If you're well, not looking to spend as much, the true feel is going to feel softer if you're looking for the soft feel. Velocity is going to feel firmer if you're gonna looking for that firmer feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, you know, I, I imagine it's something that not a lot of players think about, but then, you know, we always try to emphasize the point, you know, you know, play the same golf ball every time if you can, because that's where you develop that consistency. And the players that do, you know, do that, then they notice that big difference in feel, especially on a short game. They really do notice that when they go from, let's say they're playing a velocity every time and they think, well, maybe true feel is the one I want to go with. They make that switch and then you really notice that. And, but that's when those players realize, okay, I like this feel, or I, I like a firm feel, or I like a soft feel. But yeah. And uh, then like talking to like Larry Bobker on yeah. putter fittings, he always likes to kind of putt from the fitter, putt, putt from the putter back, um, because that way you're gonna feel the differences depending if you have an insert on your putter face yeah. or if you've mm -hmm. got a very, uh, don't have any inserts on on your face. It's more of a mill feel. Yep. The golf ball is gonna really play a big difference on the feel. So it depends sure. on the, how you like to feel that ball roll off the face too is gonna influence yeah. which ball you wanna go with. For sure, for sure. Well, seven iron time now. Uh, you know, we've done some testing in the past comparing golf balls with seven irons. We've had a couple of tests where the seven iron numbers have been very similar. Sometimes they've varied a little bit. I, I would imagine we'll see some differences here, but I guess I'm really, I don't know. Yeah, we'll find out. I mean, when I add more speed now, it really feels soft. Yeah? Yeah. I am used to, you know, I'm used to watching you hit shots in this bay very often. And I'm, there's a particular sound that I'm used to hearing, and yeah. that was not that sound. <laughs> it, was, it was soft. I hit that well, too. But yeah, that was, yeah. Uh, that was very soft off the face. Uh, pretty low spin as well. Yeah, I'm noticing that, too. You know, you're usually, you know, depending on the attack angle and stuff, but it usually you're kind of mid 5,000s to like yep. 6,000. And I've been working on trying to get my spin up mm -hmm. and seeing that thing drop back down to five. Right. <laughs> it's a little scary. <laughs> a little better swing. 
Mm -hmm. Yep, very low spin, very consistent spin, even regardless of where yeah, I hit on the face. I was going to mention that too. Uh, you know, we see the seminar numbers up top here. I mean, you your highest spin was what fifty one forty two, lowest spin was forty nine seventy four, and that deviation number of sixty five. Pretty good, considering there were a couple that you didn't think you quite caught perfect, yeah. and it still has a pretty consistent number there, even if it is low. Plus or minus 65, it's going to be hard to bait. That, with yeah. five shots, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty darn good. All right, velocity's next. Again, that should be one that performs pretty differently here. So definitely louder. God, what is with the spin numbers? Uh, I know you don't like seeing that spin drop after you've been trying to increase it. Are these both supposed to spin it. low? <laughs> yeah, I mean. They're all low spinning. It's, it's a, the, so the velocity, you know, it's a, it's a high ball flight, launches the ball high, gives you a bunch of distance, and I think the way they do that is by low spin, you know, so. Yeah, that's crazy how low that spin is. We might, we might need to get a high spinning ball in here at the end just to, I, yeah, just honestly, to make that, sure. Honestly, that's not a terrible to idea. To validate. Yeah, definitely lower spin so far. I mean, it's, 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 I think it's significant too. Yeah, firmer feel, lower spin. And so, and I don't know if you categorize this as long game, uh, a mid iron. I know, you know, Tyler's goal was for what they call extremely low long game spin with the velocity. So okay. yeah. if, and then this is kind of on that borderline, I think of where you would consider long game, you know, maybe fairy woods to long irons, but yep. you're definitely starting to see that a little bit here. Yeah, that was, Pretty low, especially considering you know my attack angle was negative three point six. Yeah. Should generate some spin. That's just so much louder. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can hit those last three shots better than the last three. You know what we haven't done is actually we haven't looked at dispersion. Maybe we'll do that at some point. Those Which last three I think were almost on the exact same line. Uh, spin, you know, pretty comfortably lower. I mean we're talking about two hundred and 50 yep. RPM-ish. And uh, I was swinging a little faster with it, too. Yeah. Uh, we're talking point zero. Well, yeah, and zero also point your attack angle was steeper. Yep. And so that should create more spin, both that marginally more club speed and then also the, the steeper attack angle. But we're still seeing it comfortably lower on spin. And so I think we can, I would be surprised if AVX was lower than that. But, you know, I've been... Surprised before on these <laughs> golf ball tests, so. Yeah, and so I think all these three golf balls, they're designed for lower spin in this, in this area. Yeah. And I think what we should do is maybe get like a higher spinning ball and just see, what, see how different that those numbers are, just yeah. to make sure that we're seeing, yes, these are spinning simply less. That's, yeah, because I think, you know, I, that term low spin, it's thrown around a lot in golf, whether it's with drivers, fairway woods, golf balls, I think, because that is a way to achieve more distance is by lowering spin. And I think that's what Tylus is going for here with the velocity, but I think also, depending on the speed you have, it might not be enough spin to get right. the ball into the air. So yeah. there's, there's that element to consider here too. So why don't we do, we'll test AVX and then we'll maybe throw in Pro V1X, Pro V1X yep. for the 7 iron driver just to just really to, just see, to see if there's any differences yeah. in those numbers. Once again, softer feel after hitting the velocity. Yep. Although I feel like the, I didn't notice a ton of difference in sound between the velocity and that. Maybe I wasn't listening close enough. Oh, I can but. notice the difference off yeah. the club face, yeah. In feel? Yeah, and I'm, I'm also using a forged iron. It's got 34 degrees of loft on it. Yeah. Uh, so it, I'm gonna notice the difference in feel with the forged, forged right, club. Right, right, right. If I've got a cast iron, I might not feel it as much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So far, I'm seeing this looks like it's around about 5,000 with mm -hmm. the spin with the AVX. It's going to be a battle between that one and True Feel for which one ends up with the higher average. Right. Yeah, it's uh, spinning just a little bit more mm -hmm. than the velocity was spinning. It feels softer oh, as well. Look at the six RPM <laughs> difference between. AVX and true feel and spin for you. 
Yeah, all the same smash factor, so that means we're using the same loft on the club. Yep. So pretty similar ball speed. I'm not gonna see like, I'm not gonna expect the ball speed to be way faster with the seven iron with each golf ball. Right, no, yeah. yeah. I, usually the ball speed is not super different. That's where you kind of get up into, into, well, you know, if you were to hit, you know, I think you see a bigger difference between game improvement iron to player's iron than like golf ball to golf ball, right? Yep. That's where you're gonna see that difference. But I, I'm actually, Kind of surprised at how similar the AVX and the True Feel are here. A little bit lower launch with the AVX, I think, and that's part of you know the the low launch and low spinning kind of performance the AVX offers. Um, it was flying a couple of feet lower, and the I mean, attack we're talking angle about was marginal differences here. Yeah. Though. I mean, you know, barely the lowest landing angle. So, yeah. you know, I think a lot of that does come down to you know the player's budget, and then kind of the. Uh, you know, the type of feel that they are looking for, right. I think. So you're seeing a little bit softer feel with the true feel. And then, you know, AVX is kind of in the middle of those three. And then Velocity is just kind of a completely different golf ball uh, where it's, the spin is a lot lower, a lot firmer, a lot higher launching. So. Yep. So, all right, let's 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 throw a Pro V1 and an X in the mix. Okay. And we'll maybe just hit, well, I guess we'll see if we don't. Hit a couple of shots we'll to see, see if we notice if any differences. We see, yeah, see if we notice yep. that big difference in spin. All right, so that's the Pro V1 X, and right away we jump up wow. to 56.22. And that's, about feel? that's my carry number again. So I'm yeah, you're back down to your 180. Yeah. How about feel on that? It's, it's a little firmer. A little yeah. firmer than AVX. I feel like I field? hit that really well. That yeah. was a really good swing. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Right away, I mean, that's it jumps up 600. That yeah. makes me feel better because I, I've been as, as a golfer, I've been trying to get my spin up. Yeah, and I mean, yes, it's great to test these these things, but it's nice to know that these golf pools they spin less. They spin lower, yeah. and you know they do what they're advertised. You know, yeah. I mean, that's what they say they're going to offer. The velocity, I mean, it says extremely low long game spin, and to see it, I think right away you were like, is that is it supposed to spin that low? You know? Yeah. And we see already just on this shot, 800 difference, 800 RPM difference. Well, you, the difference in that is going to be distance. The ball is going to go further when oh, you yeah. got less spin. Yeah. Oh. Absolutely, and roll out more, and yeah. Enough you're said. Getting, you're getting near six thousand. I yeah. mean, we're talking about a. That's a pretty big difference, because that again, carry number one seventy eight to one eighty. That's what you say on every video when you, you're yep. hitting seven iron. Same smash factor, one four. Yeah. Same club speed, right at about ninety miles an hour. That's it. One more. Right, so that one I didn't hit as well, but See, the spin that, rate was yeah. still higher. I was gonna yeah. say that that you kind of it seemed like you can hit that almost with like that knuckleball effect. Not yeah. necessarily all of it because again you one three eight to one four zero is not a major difference, but yeah, it spun, still carried it spun it the less, same number. But it spun a lot more. You 500 carried it the same number. I'm just gonna yeah. also bring this up to you so you can see. I mean, look at that. You can see that difference. How that ball flies, you know, shorter based mm -hmm. on well, that's total distance to yeah. carry yeah you can see how that ball flies shorter just based on adding five six hundred rpm a spin compared to the other golf balls there so by the way that's pretty tremendous dispersion across the board with all of those golf balls there thomas with the seven here uh so driver now i'm very curious about driver right. because you know we saw the big difference with iron at least with you know premium probably one x to these i i i don't know how that's going to shake out with driver i really don't know well, that's the only way to find out, yeah, hitting, hitting some shots. Oh, wow. Wow. How'd that one feel? Very soft. <laughs> soft off the face. Yeah. I, I'm surprised how far that went, because it, 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 once again, felt like mush off the face. Yeah, it, there wasn't but a lot of, you know, frequency, I guess, on the noise there. Like, right. it didn't, didn't, nothing really registered. <laughs> And I was, it's interesting that that's that low of a flight. I mean, it's not a low flight, but it's like a penetrating low flight, yeah. I guess. It's a, it's a lower flight than I'm used to when my attack angle is up. Yeah, that's yeah. true. All right, we're up to driver, true feel. 2016 spin, um, 288 carry, 310.9 total. What do you think of feel on that? So soft. I mean, yeah. even with even with the feel of a driver off the face, it still felt pretty soft. See, now one thing I'm curious about. Did you? 
on, on those three, did you feel like you hit them all pretty solidly? I don't think I was swinging my, my best. I'm, you're looking at that like the smash factor number. Yeah, because so I'm thinking like, are you? Is there a chance? Maybe I mean we'll find this out maybe. Yeah. But is there a chance you're losing some ball speed because of the golf ball? It could be. Yeah. It definitely could be based on my amount of speed that I generate. I could be losing. Right, right. Because you, someone of your speed, wouldn't play true feel, as we know. But right. Um, just wondering if that could maybe be the reason for that. But we'll get into now velocity. See maybe if we see that difference. You know, obviously we're looking at launch and spin in addition to that distance too. Okay. That was loud. It was loud. Ah, it hung in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like a, it's becoming a once a video occurrence for Thomas. Is the, the, the point to the right, and then it goes like, I don't know, five yards <laughs> offline. It's the gear effect, yeah. It's two, yeah, so three and a half degree face to path. That was it better. Yeah. Definitely a lot louder, too. Yeah, it's just so much louder. Yeah. Look at that. It's a little higher spin on that one. Did you... Uh, I feel like I hit that pretty good. Interesting. Yeah. That it picked up 2,700 spin there, and you still hit it high on the face, which in theory should be... Lower. You know, lower. So yeah. that's interesting, because it's, you know, we're going to see in the numbers here, but that spun a lot more, I think, than the true field did. Yeah, I think it was about two or 300 RPMs more on average than the, yeah. than the true field. Yeah, I mean... Yep. And again, this is very initial testing, right? I mean, this isn't a, a huge sample size, but for the sake of the video, we're going a little bit quicker on the testing uh, for the length of time. But well, the, the numbers with the launch angle and the attack angle are the same. We'll know the, it's the same. height is about 10 feet higher yeah. when you spin the ball a little bit more. Mm -hmm. yeah. For sure. Interesting. Okay, so, God, it's interesting because, you know, the, the velocity is kind of advertised as that really low spin golf ball, but that could be... A uh, club speed thing, where it's maybe for someone with a lower club speed than, than yourself. So right. Now let's try that AVX and see. Maybe that's since it's a better fit for you. Maybe we get those that trend to, to work itself out. There you go. That just seemed like it launched a little bit lower than the. Yeah, past a little two. lower ball flight there. I believe, what was it, 15.8 was the launch angle the, on average? The other two, yeah. So that's 14.8, so. Yeah. That's what that one felt like. But the spin rate stayed down even though my face angle on that one was pretty low. Yeah, kind of opened the face a little bit, and that usually generates more spin. I mean, it, it was more spin, but yeah. uh, it wasn't crazy, you know, jump up kind of like we almost, you know, in a way, saw with that velocity one there, right. we went up to the 27 range. I think that actually might have been my highest carry distance today, too, and still a little bit lower than the other one that flew a lot higher, mm -hmm. like 150 feet in the air with the velocity. All right, driver numbers. AVX kind of fell in between the velocity and true feel in terms of the spin. We did notice, though, pretty significant difference in launch there on those. Again, small sample size. Yep. Uh, so very initial testing here, but we did see kind of that trend emerge here right away. Yeah, it was also the lowest in height, 126 yep. feet in the air. Velocity was 136, true feel was 128. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, I think... You know, at least we'll break down the numbers a little bit more, but um, I think we saw from the test, we saw some of the trends emerge, and that's the thing with golf ball, you know, testing that we've done. I feel like, you know, I think with golf clubs, you definitely see, okay, the game improvement irons, uh, stronger locks, they're going to launch lower, they're going to travel farther, and we see that all the time. It's a little bit more muddy, I think, with golf ball testing, and so we see some of those trends emerge. We didn't quite see some of them um, in the initial testing, but... Uh, that's why, you know, the ball fitting thing is so important and playing the same ball every time is important for your game as well. Yeah, and I would rely on what the manufacturers are telling us about that particular golf ball. Yeah. We're close, but there's so much more that goes into it. Every swing is going to be different. I might catch on the toe, I might catch on the heel, I might hit down on it more. Yeah. And there's so much that goes into it that's going to affect the ball speed and, and the spin, but you got to trust the manufacturers. You know, they spend 
so much time oh, R and D yeah. on mm -hmm. manufacturing these different golf balls for the players. Right, and especially I think Titleist would probably be a leader in that category. Uh, you know, they're if you think of golf balls, you think of Titleist is probably one of that those first brands that that come to mind. So. Uh, AVX, Velocity, True Feel, some pretty good testing here uh, and really good performance. And again, that's, you know, all of these, they have their different niches, but, uh, you know, they're, they're great options for a variety of golfers. All right, Thomas, testing complete. The Titleist 2022 Golf Balls, True Feel, Velocity, AVX. Uh, I think, you know, like I mentioned before, some of those trends emerged that we kind of thought, and some of them maybe didn't quite appear, but um, like you said, I think trusting what manufacturers tell us about the golf balls uh, is, is the right way to go about it. And then also, as you can, you can, you know, check out the prices and whatnot on the golf balls, but, uh, you know, uh, using your budget to your advantage, I think, too, because that also can help you, uh, you know, if you're trying to narrow down between, let's say, True Feel, maybe a Pro V, you know, those are very different golf balls, and if you're, you know, a player on a budget, you don't have to worry about that Pro V as much because that True Feel is probably the right one for you. So let's start with the True Feel here. Yep. Uh, the golfer that's going to benefit the most from that play or from this ball, uh, what do you think? I mean, it's definitely at the entry level, but it performs so well for an entry level golf ball. For a golfer that likes a soft feel, let's, let's face it, it's the softest feeling golf ball yep. of all the all the balls. Um, I was very surprised, I don't even know if I was surprised, I was impressed that we've done initial testing with these balls like two years ago, yeah. and we're seeing the same thing here happen with the true feel, is I think it's outperforming the value yeah. of the, mm -hmm. the cost of that ball. It's really good, and we always harp on and say, play the same golf ball every single time. If you don't want to spend too much money on your golf balls, this is going to be a winner. Yeah, it yeah. is. I think, it's, you know, I think we saw the, how competitive it was with every club that you're not losing a ton of performance with a more budget-friendly option here in the true feel. Uh, velocity now. Now, the velocity, again, it's, a, it's more of a budget-friendly choice, but I think there's a pretty stark difference between velocity and a more premium ball, and not just performance, but also the feel of it as well. Yeah, I think velocity's faster. Uh, it's faster with regards to more ball speed. Should fly higher than the true feel in that budget entry level there mm -hmm. uh feel is huge that's yeah. that's the difference there it feels firmer than the true feel yeah significantly I, firmer yeah so i yeah. think you know there's i think both of these are kind of going to be four players that are maybe at the beginning of the stages of playing but i think velocity in particular is one that's going to help players maybe can't quite get the ball up in the air enough uh, you, we saw you know higher launching right away with that velocity and that's what it's designed for higher launch and then you know the way they give you more distance is with some lower spin too. AVX then, uh, it's a little bit kind of a different category than these first two. Uh, what do you think about the AVX? I mean, it's a premium ball for a golfer that needs less spin, needs to hit the ball lower, mm -hmm. but also wants that premium feel that you get yeah. out of a type that's probably one or probably one X. Yep, because you got that yep. urethane cover on the AVX, uh, so a similar material uh, to the probably one and probably one X that are on the, on the cover. Uh, and then, you know, with that AVX too, we should talk about kind of that next uh, probably one X. So we kind of threw in the testing with the seven iron in this video and we saw that big difference. You know, I think we were kind of worried, you know, oh, these golf balls, they're, all, they're, they're very similar, you know, and then you can kind of get that, that notion of all golf balls are the same. And we definitely saw that difference then come into play when you brought the Pro V1X in for a few swings. Yeah, I got my numbers back with, yeah. with the Pro V1X. Um, I, I normally only carry it 180 with my seven iron. And all three of these balls with them spinning less, mm -hmm. they were carrying 184, 185. Yeah. And I was like, is this going to be the case today? But then I went back, and I was like, we've got to get a different golf ball in here, a golf ball that resembles what I play. With the AVX, we're talking five or 600 RPMs less spin than the Titus mm -hmm. Pro 1X. Yeah, yeah, that was the big difference. And I think we were, you were almost kind of like, you know, you were asking, like, is this supposed to spin that low? And I'm like, yeah. well, maybe. <laughs> I mean, and then we, we tested out the Pro V1X, and we saw how the premium ball differs from one of these lower uh, lower budget options, I guess, if you will. So there's pretty significant difference. Um, and I think, you know, one of the things too that we offer at Second Swing when you come in and get fit is that ball fitting option where you can speak with the master fitter and, you know, tell them about the ball you're playing now or some of the characteristics you like in a golf ball. And throughout the testing and the numbers that you show as well in your fitting, our fitters are able to recommend a golf ball for your game. And then as we say, again, play the same ball every time and you'll get that consistency out of your short game especially. So 
Three great options here from Titleist Thomas. Uh, they'll be wonderful uh, hits, I think, in 2022 here for golfers of really any skill level here. I think AVX can play to the upper echelon players. True Feel Velocity can play to those maybe beginner or inexperienced players. So really good options. Thanks for joining in the testing today and giving your insight. Uh, again, great options for 2022 here.